polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis PH or polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is a most widely used analytical method to resolve separate components of a protein mixture based on size. For this protein molecules of different shapes and sizes need to be denatured. The proteins covered by STS are negatively charged. When loaded onto a gel matrix and placed in an electric field, the proteins will migrate towards the anode or positively charged electrode. They are then separated by a molecular sieving effect based on size. After visualization by a protein specific staining technique, the size of a protein can be estimated by the comparison of its migration distance with that of a known molecular weight marker. Procedure The experiment begins by assembling the glass plates. Assemble the glass plates on a clean surface. Lay the longer glass plate down first and then place the shorter glass plate on top of it. Embed them into the casting frame now and clamp them properly. Make sure that the bottom ends of the glass plates are properly aligned. Then place the frame on the casting stand. Now cast the gels. For the preparation of resolving gel, we require distilled water of 4 ml, 30% of acrylamide mix of 3.3 ml, 1.5 molar tris of pH 8.8 of 2.5 ml, 10% STS of 0.1 ml, 10% ammonium persulfate of 0.1 ml, TEMET of 0.004 ml. Now for the stacking gel, we need a distilled water of 5.6 ml, 30% acrylamide mix of 1.65 ml, 1 molar tris of pH 8.8 of 2.5 ml, 10% STS of 0.1 ml, 10% ammonium persulfate of 0.1 ml, Temet of 0.004 ml. Now prepare the 10% resolving or separating gel and 4.5% stacking gel solution by combining all the reagents except ammonium persulfate or APS and Temet. Add APS and Temet to the monomer solution just before pouring it in between the glass lights and mix well by swirling gently. Pour the solution until it reaches a mark on the glass light. It is okay if you introduce air bubbles, add a layer of isopropanol or distilled water on top of the gel to level the poured gel. Allow the gel to polymerize for 20 to 30 minutes. Now prepare the stacking gel monomer solution by combining all the reagents except APS and Temet. Drain the isopropanol with the strips of filter paper or bloating paper. Now add APS and Temet to the monomer solution just before pouring it in between the slides and mix well by swirling gently. Now place a comb in the stacking gel sandwich. Allow it to polymerize for 10 minutes. For the preparation of samples, mix your protein 4 is to 1 with a sample buffer and heat your sample at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes in a water bath. For running the gel, assemble the apparatus first. Take out the gels from the casting frame and clamp them in the gel apparatus. Make sure that the short plate always faces inside and if you have only one gel to run, use a dummy plate that is available to balance. Secure the plates, place them in the cassette and lock it. Now place the cassette in the tank. Fill the inner chamber of the tank with 10x SDS running buffer of pH 8.3. Remove the comb carefully without breaking the well. Now the gel is ready to load the samples. Rinse the loading tip a few times with buffer. Make sure that all the buffer is pipetted out before loading the samples. Insert the loading tip to a few millimeter from the well bottom and deliver the samples into the well. Rinse the syringe a few times with buffer after loading. Attach the power supply by closing the lid. Make sure that the connection is correct that is black to black and red to red. Set the voltage up to 180 voltage and run for 1 hour. Don't allow the dye friend to go out of the gel. For staining the gel, after running the apparatus, switch off the power supply and take out the gel plates and remove the gel. Place the gel in the staining solution for 30 minutes. Destain the gel until the bands are properly seen. Approximate the molecular weight of the visualized protein bands by comparing them with the molecular weight markers. Caution Wear gloves at all times while performing SDS page. To ensure proper alignment and casting, the glass plates, spacers, combs and casting stand gaskets must be clean and dry. 
Pay special attention while using acrylamide as it is a neurotoxin.